Hey guys, welcome to Coding After 30. In this video, I want to talk about a roadmap that you could follow if you're brand new to learning web development. Now, there are many courses out there, and if you're anything like me, you will probably buy every course available on Udemy and every other platform like it. But here's the secret. The number of courses you have doesn't really guarantee that you're going to learn any faster. If anything, by having so many options, it's going to be another form of of procrastination so in today's video I'm going to give you my recommendation of what you should do and you probably won't listen but I'm gonna tell you anyway because this is something that's going to help you get ahead faster when learning to code there are many reasons why trying to get as many courses as you can regardless if it's Udemy or any other online program is because there's such thing as decision fatigue the more decisions you have to make throughout the day the harder it is for you to to stay motivated and actually get anything done so if anything the more decisions the more options you have to choose from the harder it will be for you to learn anything and get anything productive done you could check out this article on decision fatigue but more importantly for you guys let me make that decision for you so instead of trying to figure out what to do and what steps to take this is what I'm going to recommend for you I want you guys if you're a complete beginner and you're looking to get started in web development is to do these three things and do them in this order number one just choose one HTML and CSS course just one you do not need more than one what you need is one course that you could start from beginning to end and finish it if you cannot finish one course that's a bad sign of how motivated and focused you are in terms of learning web development to moving forward yes it's very easy to start something but it is very difficult to finish it so if you started 10 different courses on 10 different different platforms Udemy being one of them that is not helping you what you need to do is choose one course and finish it so if you're just starting out the first thing you need to learn HTML and CSS I'm going to show you the courses that I recommend because these are the courses that I took but don't make the same mistake I made trying to learn from every source available on YouTube on Udemy on Teachable whatever just don't do it that's your challenge choose one course so before I jump in into what the second course is, let me tell you the general outline of how you should learn. First, you take the course. The course will have little projects for you to do. Once you complete the course with the projects that you have done, you are not done. You think you're done, but you're not done because you just did a course and you followed along with the teacher and you completed the work that they literally did in front of you. So you just copied what they did. That's a prerequisite for learning, right? It's a required step for you to copy what somebody else is doing. But at this point, you will not understand how every Everything works so your next step based on what you learn is to create one project yourself the way you create this project is you don't copy the course material but you use it as notes so you come up with your own idea that is not an idea that your instructor created and you make that your project and you work on it until it is done when you get stuck you could refer to your notes from the course you took you could look up things on YouTube and websites like MDN or Stack Overflow to figure out what you need to know but that project should be your own once you finish that project after you completed your course only then should you move on to your second course which should be basic JavaScript which should cover the language itself then it should introduce you DOM manipulation with JavaScript as well as teach you some of the basic ways of working with asynchronous data and making API calls so you could have some data that you could work with and display on the screen after you finish that JavaScript class, regardless which projects you did for that class, the next thing you need to do is to do the same thing as you did with your HTML and CSS. Everything you learn from your JavaScript, create a separate project where you're not copying somebody else's work. It's something you're doing on your own. It is your idea and you're completing it from start to finish. Do not move on to a third course or a second course or whatever course until you finish that JavaScript project. A pro tip here for you guys, the first HTML and CSS project you created, your website, you could add JavaScript to it and give it some additional functionality. Only then and after then and only after you finish that full course, 
you move on and you learn JavaScript framework. It could be a view, it could be Angular. I always recommend React because I still feel that it is the best way for someone to break into the field is through learning React and JavaScript. That's how I did it and that's what I recommend for you guys. Now I know there's many paths and you don't have to take this path. I'm just saying the way I did it and how it worked. And again, when you complete that React course, when you finish that course, you need to create your own project. Again, you're not copying somebody else's project. It doesn't have to be big, but you have to finish. So there is no ifs, ands, or buts. Do you get another course? Unless you have completed one HTML and CSS course, and have one HTML and CSS project that's your own, two, completed a JavaScript course and have your own JavaScript project, and three, completed a React course or third library framework and have a project, do not buy any more courses. Don't do it, you will do it. I know you will and that's gonna be a big mistake, but I tell you, don't buy more courses. More courses is not going to solve your problem. I have so many courses that I didn't take and honestly, I wasted a lot of money. Like, I mean, it's good now because now I could review those courses and make videos about it, but that's besides the point. So the thing is here, you need to stick to doing less and spending more time on it. So I'm going to tell you one more time. You need to take one HTML and CSS class and you need to create one project. Two, you do the same thing with JavaScript. Three, you do the same thing with React. Here's the beauty. Once you finish, not only are you going to have a pretty good foundation for the fundamentals, you're also going to have one project in HTML and CSS, one project in JavaScript, and one project in React. So that's three portfolio pieces that you could put on your portfolio. And at this point, you could literally create a portfolio, website with WordPress, put your three projects on it, and start looking for jobs while you're learning. Yes, you might not get hired, but it's still a great experience experience to go and find out what it takes or even see if you could get an interview with what you've done and this could be accomplished in three to four months now if you're jumping from course to course and you're trying to do all these different things you don't have a structured approach to learning you're not going to reach your goal within three to four months there's obviously more to this but this will be my like phase one like if someone comes to me and says, Paul, I want your help. And I ask him, well, what have you done? And you tell me, oh, I've been jumping from video to video. Like I'm not going to take you seriously. But if you come to me and you show me that you completed three courses or even one course and you have one project that you built yourself, then I'm going to take you seriously. It's all about your commitment to doing your work. So stop jumping around, pick three courses, HTML and CSS, JavaScript, and then React and get to it. If you have any questions, you could always reach out to me. I'm still taking few students to practice coaching. So I'll leave my email on the bottom. If you like, you could reach out to me. I already have some students that I started coaching. This is absolutely free because I want to get better at teaching, but my time is limited, so I can't take everybody. But if you have questions, by the way, if you ask me in the YouTube comments, I will try to get to as many of them as I can. With that being said, thanks for watching. If you like or get any value from this channel, consider subscribing. And I want you to challenge yourself to do the three course only challenge and see if you could complete it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. I'd love to hear them. But until then, I'll see you guys next time.